you really thank your mother enough? As in next time you tut at your mother, think back to the nine months she goes up and down stairs carrying you. Think of the time she multitasks. I've always said in lectures in the past, and one of our great teachers used to say it even more, that sometimes people say men are greater than women. I tell you, a man can't do two tasks at once. A woman, she can talk on the phone and cook one baby and pregnant. Four tasks at once, subhanAllah. The man, if he's talking on the phone and you tell him to do a second thing, wallah, he'll go crazy. He'll say to you, there is no way I could do both things at once. Wait, wait, let me finish this and I'll do this. Your mother, when you ask her, you could see she has a, your younger sister in her hand. You could sh see that she's preparing a meal. You could see she's talking, but she'll still give you a hug to come and say, here, come next to me. Isn't that true? And yet the human being can be arrogant enough that sometimes when his mother tells him something, he says, who are you to tell me what to do? Nine months she carried you. And you have the audacity to turn around and say, who are you to tell me what to do? When the mother comes and she says, I've got a piece of advice to give you about something in your life. You say, don't give me any advice. I can build my own life without you interfering. You see how the human can go to that low level? You find some are even willing to take their mother and say to her, I'll take you to a courtroom and finish you in court. There are cases which have happened in certain Islamic countries, which we don't need to mention, where sons or daughters have taken mothers to court. That mother, nine months, our Imam, you know, our Imam, our fourth Imam, he used to have such a love for the mother. Why? Because of the fact that his mother died a few days after she gave birth to him. So Imam Zayn Abidin, because his mother gave birth to him and she died, he would always remember with fondness. And he'd say, Ya Allah, make my obedience to my mother sweeter than water for the thirsty and greater than sleep for the drowsy.